Hi everyone, this is Dr. Walker. This is video 238. It's called Which Light Bulbs Are Brighter? And in this video, we're going to connect light bulbs different ways and see how that affects their brightness. We're going to have three questions in this video. Here's the first one. It says that these bulbs are all identical. The batteries are identical. Compare the brightness of the bulbs. So before we can do that, we need to understand what is going to affect the brightness of bulbs. If they are identical, then the only thing that matters is the current. So if you have identical bulbs, the only thing that matters is the current. And the more the current, so more current means that it's going to be brighter. So that's what you need to know in order to answer these questions. You have to think about how much current is going through and then that's going to affect the brightness. So think about this one, pause the video and let's go ahead and take a look. We have one bulb here offering some resistance and there's a voltage here. So we know that current is voltage over resistance. So there's some resistance here. And in the other circuit here, we have two light bulbs and they are connected in series. Remember that in series, resistances add up, right? R, let's call it RB plus RC. The total resistance adds up. So this means that in the second circuit, there is more resistance than in the first circuit. So that means that in the first circuit, there is less resistance and therefore more current in the first circuit. So light bulb A is going to be brighter light bulbs B and C are going to be less bright. Since they're identical, they will have the same brightness because they're going to have the same current, the same voltage, everything's going to be the same for them. So bulb A had more current, it's going to be brighter than the other bulbs. Let's see if you can apply the same type of logic for this problem where the bulbs are connected in parallel instead of in series. You can see in this circuit on the right here, if we redraw the battery like we're used to, you can see that there's a wire from the positive terminal that breaks off. So it breaks off here and reaches the light bulb or the resistor. And then on the negative terminal of the battery, you have a wire that breaks off to the other end of each resistor. So this wire breaks off to the other end. So this is just another way to show the two bulbs in parallel. So with that in mind, how are the brightnesses going to relate to each other? So the way that we want to think about this one is that first of all, all of the bulbs are identical. So all the individual bulbs have the same resistance. All of them are getting the same exact voltage, right? This bulb A is getting the full voltage, but bulbs B and C here are also getting the full voltage because they're connected in parallel. So if you consider this random bulb C, let's say, that has the same voltage and it has the same resistance just by itself as bulb A, then that means it must have the same current running through it than does bulb A. So they're actually all going to have the same current running through, which means they're all going to have the same brightness. Now you may have been thinking, well, why, what if I think about the net resistance of this circuit? We know that when bulbs are in parallel, that the net resistance is less. So you might be thinking, well, in this circuit, there's less resistance, which means that there should be more current than this circuit. So what you have to be careful about is yes, there is more current coming from the battery. So, there's going to be more current here coming from the battery, but that current is going to split up at this junction here. It's going to split up. So the individual current that each bulb is getting is actually going to be the same as the current that bulb A is going to get. So a little tricky there. Let's do one more. Are two identical light bulbs brighter? when connected in series or in parallel. So think about this one. Okay, so I like to have a little visualization. So 
we have the ones in series and we have the ones in parallel. Now, according to what we just discussed, we said that two in series were less bright than just an individual one, but we said that the two in parallel were just as bright as the individual one. So just by putting those two questions together, that tells us that the bulbs in parallel are going to be more bright than the bulbs in series, just because they had the same brightness as the individual bulb. So these had the same brightness here, but the two in series were less less bright than that individual one. Um, but let's say you hadn't answered those two questions, then you can just think about it the way that we, again, also just talked about. Think about how much voltage that they're getting, how much current. Um, so these ones here are getting the same current as this one uh, and the same voltage, same resistance. But these over here, right, when you're in series, you have to share the voltage from the battery. So if you just look at one individual resistor, it's not getting the full 12 volts. So if this one resistor has less voltage than these ones, but it has the same resistance, if you just look at the individual one, then the current through it is going to be less than the ones in parallel because it's getting less voltage. So that's another way to think about it. The ones in parallel are going to be more bright. And in the following applet, I can actually demonstrate some of these things to you. So I think you'll find it very useful. The last thing I wanted to do is look at this applet so we can visualize these light bulbs a little bit better. So this is another FET applet. It's called a DC circuit applet. I have it pulled up right here. I've already created a few circuits, but I have three different circuits, but the switches are open so nothing is lit up. So let's look at these circuits that I created. So the first one has a battery. It's connected to a light bulb. The light bulb is connected to this open switch, which is then connected back to the battery. So we can see that once we close the switch, then it completes the circuit and we just have that one single bulb connected to a battery. And then let's take a look at the next circuit here. I have a battery, I have a light bulb, and then a wire, and then another light bulb, an open switch, and then it goes back to the battery. So you can see that there's just, once I close the switch, there's just a single path for the charges to flow that these light bulbs are connected in series. When I close the switch, we can see that they both light up, but if we compare it to the single bulb, we do see that the two bulbs in series are less bright than the single bulb because there's more resistance in the circuit as we discussed. Let's take a look at the third circuit here we can see that we have two bulbs in parallel, that they both have a direct connection to the battery on the left and to the battery on the right. So they're both getting the full voltage of the battery once the switch is closed. So these are in parallel. And let's take a look here. And we can see that they are more bright, indicated by the length of the lines. They're more bright than the series one. And they are the same brightness as the single one. A single bulb. So as we discussed, it's because each bulb here is getting the full voltage from the battery. So if you have if you have the same resistance and the same voltage, then you have the same current going through each of these bulbs than you do for the single bulb. The last thing I wanted to show you, which I thought was interesting, which explains kind of the the Christmas light and the car light question that I had at the beginning of a previous video. If we look at these circuits here, so we don't need this one anymore. If we look at the series circuit, so let's close this one for a second. The series circuit, if I open the switch, then you can see that none of the bulbs light up. That's because there was only one path for the charges to flow. Once you open that, that switch, then the charges can't flow and none of the light bulbs light up. Now let's take a look at see what happens over here. If we open this switch, then 
neither of the bulbs are lit up. If we close the switch, then they are both lit up. And that's because we need this switch closed so, so that the current can flow from the battery. But look and see what happens if we open this switch over here. If we open this switch, then the other light bulb still lights up because the other light bulb that is in parallel still has a direct connection to the battery. So this is why you can have one light blow out if it's connected in parallel and the other light bulbs will remain unaffected.